Hey, hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to War Pips. The last time we took a look at this game, it was just coming out, and now it's been out for a year, and the dev of this game has done a hell of a lot to update it and add new features and new units and much more new and fun combat. If you love yourself games like Warfare 1917 or Warfare 1944, hell, I'd go as far to even say if you're a fan of toy soldiers, this is definitely in the wheelhouse of games that you're going to enjoy. War Pips is one of those games where it's like, it seems like mindless spamming and spawning of vehicles and weapons and troops at all times, but there's quite a bit of strategy to it, and I really enjoy it. With a story of invasion and defense and, of course, fighting over urban areas and uh, warfare of <laughs> desert areas and zombies and other fun things in there, the developer has listened to a lot of everybody's feedback on their Discord and has added a ton of features that people have wanted or thought would be a great addition to the game. And it's got like a version 1.0 coming out. So thanks to them for, to sending over like a little, I don't know, early pre, pre something version, whatever the 1.0 version will be, that's what we're gonna take a look at here today. So thanks again for joining me. We'll have to find out what's new in War Pips together and we'll continue on trucking. Oh, that was a hell of an explosion. If you guys want to see more of this game, go ahead and explode that like button. Thanks again for subscribing to the channel and become members today by smacking that join button down below. Jump on our Discord for giveaways and more. Let's jump into War Pips. Let's go. All right, let's get into it, boys. Oh, great, now we can customize our army, cool. Uh, I guess we'll call this the uh, Army of Raptoria. Wait, first of all, I, lo I love the gunshots, I'm sorry. Okay, our insignia will be... Oh boy, the <laughs> some of these are cool. Let's go with the lion, and the enemy cover color will be red. All right, cool, let's go with that. Holy wall of text. Wow, it's, it's still going. It's, it's still going. Is this Star Wars? Actually, on the uh, splash screen, the menu, I get a little bit of Star Wars vibe, too. Like, they're chatting uh, as if they're, like, in for the uh, trench run or something. All right, well, that's looking good. Cool. So, in this game, we get access to a bunch of things that we can uh, either purchase or that we start in our loadout. Right now, we basically got, like, dudes with Uzis, grenade launchers, and uh, a tactician that will uh, give us a little better accuracy with artillery strikes and improve the accuracy of troops around us. And we get things like uh, combat coupons and war bucks and things that we can earn in our strategic map. So basically, uh, wherever we attack, there's different bonuses for doing so. So you got to be a little bit strategic with your uh, attack and defense of certain areas. So that way you can get different types of rewards. Like, for example, an oil derrick that will give you a little extra cash over time for eventually fighting like massive armies of enemy tanks and helicopters and whatnot. But don't worry, if we get a tractor unlocked, we'll, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, 2022 is the year of the tractor, baby. Well, what do we got here in the uh, arms dealer? Looks like we start with a, a big boy, the heavy gunner, basically like a, almost like a mini gunner. Pretty sweet. Oh, he's got plated vests, so he's got some extra armor as well. So this, this boy's going clean and hold the field. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll come back here. I think the arms dealer changes every time after a mission. So every time that we complete a mission, uh, we'll get new stuff in there. So let's go ahead and try to cut the enemy off at the pass. I believe this is our nation. They've made some uh, naval landings down here around our capital, uh, which I think is actually uh, taken. Look at this. The operation names are Embarrassed Worm, Heartbreaking Leather, and Billowy Pendulum. What the hell? All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, stop the enemy where they seem easiest to unlock initial upgrades. 
Looks like this is a good spot for a first battle. Um, but I think this will probably be an easier fight right here. Okay, let's go with this one. We'll cut him off at the island. Mission info. Uh, looks like we can go ahead and take some of these troops along with us. We'll bring the regular war pips and maybe some hand gunners. Or whatever these guys are. Uh, yeah, let's go. Establishing uplink. Love the intro to this game. Love the voxely art style. It's badass. Yeah, there it goes. Our mobile base. All right, so for the time being, a lot of the battles are this, just over the bridge. But eventually, we'll get into urban battles and more. And the screen at the bottom here is really cool. The details of, like, the fans and stuff. A lot of this is really important, though, uh, for winning the battle. So we're just going to wait just a little bit to generate some funds. We can go ahead and call in some additional troops. Right now, we're limited to four, so we're just going to wait till they get a little closer. And then our troops will probably take cover here by the sandbags or the concrete barriers. Nope, they're just going to stand out in the middle. But the cool thing is we got grenade launchers, so it's pretty it's pretty bad for the enemy. <laughs> they're they're going to have a bad time. All right, let's go ahead and increase the amount of money we can get for a bonus. And we'll go ahead and call in some extra troops here. So this is basically the uh, points that we can call by upgrading our level per, per round or whatever. Um, so every time we upgrade, we get veteran C for our troops. We can also tell our troops to like go all in and rush the enemy. This is pretty good right here. Just waiting for a little bit more a little bit more cash to come in so we can do one final big push. Wow, this guy is just absolutely devastating the enemy. Alright, let's get him some reinforcements. And we're gonna wait until this charges up a bit. Oh no, my coffee cup. Always break the coffee cup, my man. Cool. Well, I'm glad this version 1.0 is out. This game has gotten a ton of updates over the last year. It's definitely a, a labor of love. Great detail on all the buildings and stuff. And definitely a great art style, too. A lot of people will say, oh, graphics are number one, but it's like, man, come on. Gameplay is way more important than things looking pretty. Have you heard of a game called Battlefield 2042? Yeah? Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. Don't worry. This is a good game. I like it. All right, let's add some more troops to the battlefield. And a little bit more cash to our coffers. And we'll get ready for a big O push. Here we go. All right, so we're giving our troops increased accuracy and move speed. Look at that. They're just shredding the enemy. Badass. Eventually, the enemy will get things like vehicles and whatnot that will allow them to move a little faster across the battlefield. And we'll drop off troops pretty much in the middle of the map, so we'll have to worry about that. This is easy. This is the easy part. Very, very easy. Yeah. Oh, damn, that explosion's badass. Definitely reminds me a little bit like a Sega Genesis game in some of its screens. Definitely some Super Nintendo vibe in here. Hard to make a game nowadays without being inspired by previous art styles and systems. We have a pip pup, and we also have some tear gas grenades. Damages enemy infantry in an area. Okay. Looks like a toxic um, grenade. Cool. Connected. Battlefield control online. All right, arms dealer, what else do you have? Uh, nothing really too good at the moment. I'm going to keep saving our coupons, though, for a little bit. Eventually, some of those tanks and whatnot can get real expensive. Let's go with the war pip again. Uh, the handgun wasn't even needed at all, so let's see where we're going to go for our operation. Looks like they've invaded here and here. I want to fight a vehicle. Looks like we'll get a shield pip, a pip squeak, and some more stim packs. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to do that battle. Let's go. And then uh, loadout, we've got just the war pip along with us. I don't think we need the dog or anything, so let's continue to go. So every time we complete these missions, too, and get these rewards, they stack up, so... You know, keep in mind that if you use, like, for example, uh, the, the War Pup this time around, it's gone forever. Um, so it doesn't really replenish unless you happen to do a mission like this, uh, where you go to a warehouse or something like that, or get a reward down here. Lots and lots of cool strategy to the game. Really reminds me of the island of Ace Combat 4, Shattered Skies, that way. Futuristic Earth. Alright, hopefully we get into some urban environments, but things will change other than this after a little bit of time. Oh, it looks like the enemy's already being deployed. Let's go ahead and definitely upgrade our cash a bit. We'll get an insta-hundo, and we'll deploy some troops. Go. Try to wait so our boys have a little bit of chance to get behind cover while the enemy approaches. You can kind of see they automatically go for cover. I don't think we get any direct command over them, but... At least they're smart enough to do it themselves and also follow orders when it comes time to attack. Breaking that coffee cup again. I think that might give a little boost to energy. I don't know if there's like a secret to that. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? 
All right, let's get our troops some reinforcements. This is kind of the initial wave. There we go. We want to try to defeat the enemy army before they get access to their vehicle. And I'm waiting for all the infantry to link up. Our troops are close. Starting to use their grenade launchers. Hell yeah, that's a powerful weapon. All right, cutting through. Oh yeah, they don't stand a chance. All right, up, up that attack speed. Go, baby. Get in on that base. Yeah, there we go. Nice work, boys. Finish them off. So I believe eventually the enemy will get some upgraded bases. Like right now we have a mobile combat vehicle. Like a mobile command center. I think eventually we can fight other command centers that might have higher armor. Those are pretty easy for now, so. Continue on. Establishing uplink. Cool. Alright, back to the arms dealer. Let's see what we got. This is the shield pip. Let's see, we've got plenty of good weapons here for now. We've got the ability to upgrade, too, via some of our uh, war bucks. So we can give our troops, like, for example, all infantry get a small increase in health. That's pretty good, actually. Let's go with that one. And let's see what else we got. 70. Uh, let's see, increases XP per kill. Ooh, that'd be good. Engineering core, recruitment center. Uh, start the round with one extra pip supply. That's actually pretty good. One less thing for us to buy. Let's go with that one. Looks like we also have the vehicle bay, which will increase vehicle health. That's good. All right. That should be just fine for now. So war bucks spent here in upgrades. Uh, combat coupons are spent here mostly in the uh, arms dealer, but you can also trade war bucks for coupons. Let's go ahead and continue to go with the war pips. They're doing quite well. All right. Let's see. The enemy is now... S oh, boy. They're pushing in deep towards the capital. What the hell are those? Guard towers? Long-range sniper tower cannot target vehicles. Oh boy, they got troops that are going to be dropped off there. That's going to be a tough one. The rewards here are not great, but a lot more war bucks. Looks like we can get access to drones. Oh boy, uh, let's see. Oh boy. I think we're going to go for this one. Let's try the guard tower. Splendid rocket. It's going to be bad, but the rewards... I'm curious to know what's behind that question mark. Question mark in the comment section? What? What was that noise? Hey, there we go. The maps are changing a bit now. Now we got two bridges to worry about. Wonderful. You can actually see the uh, map before you go into it as well. Lots of cool stuff. All right, that sniper tower's got to get out of here, bud. You got to go, pal. Made some extra money. Some extra war pips. Enemy vehicles are trying to mitigate the landscape. Wow, that looks like a car from Jurassic Park. All right, we got a good amount of cash. There we go. Oh, no extra energy for the coffee. Come on, pal. There's their troops. Nice grenade hits. It's going to be a freaking slog. Sniper Tower doing a good job. Wow, the Sniper Tower hits really fast. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to push it on that one. Swarm them. Go, baby. Got to get that Sniper Tower out of the way. Hopefully our troops will use the grenade launcher on that. Come on, boys. Get that tower out of the way. There we go. All right. Not too much of a problem. All right. Looks like we're doing a good job here. Enemy vehicles are caught off guard. Yeah. Wreck those vehicles. All right. Let's bring in some reinforcements. Make sure we can hold the line here. All right. I think we got them, boys. Vehicles destroyed. Enemy infantry wiped. Tower absolutely wrecked. Whoa. Did our own troop fire at that? Uh, oh, boy. 
It's all right, pal. I think he was, uh... Oh, my God. Everything's exploding! I think our troops, um, when they blew up that base, some of that debris fell right into the uh, barrels there and exploded. And what is this? A smoke grenade! Cool. And a lot of extra war bucks. That's nice. Good for upgrades. That's truly what we wanted. That helps us in every single battle. That's very nice. Okay, so now we have 45 war bucks. What we probably want is, let's see, arms dealer. Unlocks additional slot for arms dealer that sells money generating items. Interesting. And I think we want to save for the academy here, which increases XP per kill, which will allow us to win even faster. Let's go back to the map here. And where should we go next? Let's see, a 25 there. Oh boy, look at the rewards here. Uh, let's see. The enemy's moving towards the uh, arms place here, like the munitions depot, which gives us an extra life, which is indicated by stars and stuff at the end of the battle. Let's go for... Oh boy, it's always hard to choose. Let's see, what gives us the highest war pips? Or, I mean these war bucks. Let's go here. Make sure they don't get to the capital. Uh, at least one unit must be in the hot bar. Well, of course. There we go. There we go, that should be fine. So these are gas pips, shotgunners, and warfighters. Man, we've been just holding the line with just the singular troop. I think I want to hold the shield pip for dealing with vehicles. Um, short ranged artillery strikes, I think, on this one. Increases the accuracy of pips all around them. Hmm. Let's give this a shot. Let's see how it works. Stim packs might be good too. Battlefield control online. Operation Noisy Room. There we go. Now things are changing. No longer are we down to a singular bridge. Ooh, the music's kicking up, brother. Amen. Oh, we have to wait 35 seconds until we get the support units. Oh, but the enemy doesn't. They get their shotgunners right away. Wow, get wrecked, sir. Watch those barrels. Uh oh. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Enemy wave approaching. We're going to charge our energy. That's probably our most effective weapon. Uh oh. Watch it. No, don't go in the gas, boys. Move, ar move around the toxic cloud. There you go. All right. Let's get our funds up a little bit. All right, here comes another wave. And there's our uh, artilleryman there. You can kind of see a circle around him, so he's got a short range of uh, effect on him. Oh, he's calling in artillery. Nice! Man, that gas is going to be a problem. Oh yes, we actually do have the order over here on the left side to tell our troops to take cover. So we do have a little bit more control that way of telling them to seek cover. Better use that now. Although the gas is not going to... Yep, exactly. Alright, attack. Gotta get through those units. Got to get rid of those gas units. It sucks, but they got to go. Attack, boys. Push, push. Nice. The artillery doing a good job. We've broken through. Just got to get those gas troopers out of the way. More reinforcements are on the way. Charging our attack. Just got to get those gas troopers out of the way. Come on, throw grenades at that guy. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're finally pushing the attack at their base. They got a helipad here. Luckily, no helicopters. Not yet. Oh, 
Oh no, more gas grenades. Artillery. Nice. All right, let's push in. Final attack. Let's go. There we go. All right, their last minute desperate spawn will happen. Nice. <sighs> We've broken through. Man, that artillery helping to clear out a lot of those troops. Letting us shoot rifle grenades elsewhere. The grenade launchers under those rifles were really, really good. Operation success. And the enemy army strength grows. And an oil derrick. Excellent. Gives us uh, extra cash over time. And up to 70 war bucks. Perfect. Well, now we can get that upgrade I wanted. Let's go back to the uh, upgrade section and get ourselves the XP per kill. There we go. That'll help us to be even more effective overall. All right, boys. Let's bring another uh, trooper here. Oh, we can also sell, too, for anything we don't want. But uh, I, don't know, I can't part with the doggo or the shield boy. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Oh, boy. Enemies got guard towers, warfighters, buggies, sharpshooters. Oh, man. Well, we don't want them to get to the capital. Festive potato would be the operation there if we defend. Oh, they got Tanya. Ah, I wonder what game inspired that. It must be StarCraft, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. <laughs> Landmines and more for the enemy. Man. If they get there, that's going to be a bad time for us. Let's go back to the arms dealer. Oh, what is this? A cruise missile? The RA-52 rocket fires a low-damage dump fire rocket at random infantry or vehicle target. Um, we only get to use that once? Hmm, I'm still going with the infantry. They've been so damn effective. I'm going to get myself some vehicles soon. And we've got some good infantry buffs, so let's keep trucking with the infantry. And let's go for Operation Tough Apple. Indeed, it's going to be one. And, of course, we get 15 war bucks, too, so... The buggy. That's going to be our biggest threat. The war buggy. Oh, but luckily we have a little bit of a bridge to kind of, uh... Maybe bottleneck all the vehicles on the entrance to the bridge. That might be good. Alright, let's upgrade our income. There we go. Just wait. Our troops are pretty smart. They'll go for cover most of the times without command. That's good. Gotta get some damn vehicles out here. Oh man, the accuracy is horrible. Let's increase veterancy this time around. Alright, we gotta break through that tower. Nice, the boys are unloading. Nice, tower out of the way. Not not a big deal. Alright, we got three enemy... Whoa, what the hell? They got a missile! <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't realize uh, propane tanks and such could fly up like that. Maybe the barrels will do the same thing too. Nice how they have a little different physics. Ooh, a sniper! Wow, and they cleared house with that. And that was a fat. Was that? Is that the Tanya unit? Oh god, here comes the buggy. Oh boy. Wow, the first time our HQ getting hit. Not too much damage. There we go. All right. We gotta make sure we get across that bridge. Gotta get across the bridge. We gotta do it. Gonna take a couple pushes. Gotta make sure the enemy doesn't get their sniper again, too. Just wait. Now. Go, 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 go. Fast, fast, fast. They even move faster, even when they're not shooting. That's nice. Close the gap and saves us some time. Well, that wasn't too bad. Get wrecked. Operation success. Good job, boys. 
Nicely done. Well, we got a kamikaze drone. That's nice. And a, a tow turret. Placeable anti-vehicle turret can target air as well. Oh, cannot target infantry, though. So it can destroy vehicles of all kinds, including aircraft slash helicopters, which we get access to, too. Uh-oh, the enemy's taking the capital, though. Oh, boy. Let's see. Army strength increases. Oh, boy. Operation Festive Potato. This is the big one, boys. The big one. Well, we got some pretty good upgrades. Got a pretty good loadout. Not really much we can do here for the... Uh... I want to exchange combat coupons for war bucks, but I guess we can't. Oh, boy. All right, this is going to be the big one. So what are they going to bring at us? Vehicles... They got barbed wire, shotgunners, Tanya as well. Anti-infantry, high powerful. Oh god, is there anywhere else we can get vehicles maybe? Oh, we got nothing. Oh boy. Well, we're going to need more war pips too. Okay, let's go for... We need something extra here. We're going to need it. A small turret, an oil derrick for extra cash. Uh, their vehicles aren't going to be too much of a problem, but we should bring our uh, radio unit again. Radio unit, warp, pips, maybe the shield too. Maybe she won't be able to fire through that. I, I think she probably will, but... And maybe a drone launches a swarm of explosive drones. Well, this is it. We got to go all in. We got to defend the capital, boys. Sells barrels of oil for instant cash. Oh. Now we got some barbed wire, too. This is it. We got to defend the capital. Let's go. All right. Oh, great. And they've got a massive satellite dish. Is that EA's headquarters? Oh, then we have to destroy it. It's the enemy of gamers. Okay. Well, let's up our income right away. Turrets we can put down right away. Ooh. Can they fire at the sniper tower? Looks like they can. Oh boy. Oh, here comes the vehicles. Yeah. Damn, this music is so good. Oh man, our troops are never going to be able to get through those landmines. I need an oil, Derek. Here comes the money, money, money. Oh boy, there goes the artillery. Yeah, nice. Give me more cannons. They have some pretty good range. Those those turrets have some really good range. They can fire at everything on the enemy side. One sniper tower down. We gotta fight and take back that area. That's where uh, EA games are uploading all of their, you know, Surprise mechanic boxes. We gotta take it out, boys. Come on, let's go suicide drones. Go. Nice. Ooh, that removes some cover. I want more money. All right, we got a lot of artillery units around. Oh, there's Tanya. There she is. Get her ass. Nice artillery right on her ass. Get out of here. Get out of town, sister. It's over for you. That's it. It is over, boys. Let's get some extra cash. Push the attack. Go, go, go. 
All right, now we got to get through the minefield, and that absolutely sucks, because I think the only way to clear a minefield is literally the troops walking over it, but we could try to hit it with a drone, maybe. All right. The drones were a good call. Clear the way for the troops. Nice. All right, minefield cleared. Push in, boys. Oh, nice. Our command units are smart enough to fall back and, like, actually regroup for the attack. Well, with the minefield out of the way, it's all good stuff from here. Okay, yep, give me, give me more troops. Got those oil derricks. Get those units out of the way. Nice. Come on in with the drones. Nice. Beautiful. Wow, they took out the damn fuel tank. <laughs> Get wrecked, boys. Hell of a mission. I thought Tanya would give us much more trouble. I'm proud of you, boys. Good job. Giving us XP and money for attacking the HQ. Shutting it down. Absolutely shut down. Operation success. Enemy strength's almost halfway. We're probably going to start seeing armored vehicles, helicopters, and more. And we've unlocked the rocket and more smoke grenades for ourselves, and up to 65 war bucks. Hail to the yeah, brother. Awesome, and we were able to secure that area. Island captured, beautiful. Liberated from the enemy. Ah, and so the map expands, so it's not just one island, it's a series of islands. So the uh, conflict grows to a larger continent, and eventually smaller islands in the north. That'll be similar to our first one. That was just a small taste of what's to come. Great. Oh boy. Well, what do we got for arms dealer stuff? Oh, what is this? A sniper? And a ghillie suit? Nice. Yeah, he actually has a ghillie suit upgrade too. Speaking of upgrades, with 65 points. Ooh, this is the island here. 100 meters wide. Uh, we could do the recruitment center to get an extra two tips. We also have fire an additional salvo per missile before reloading. Uh, that'll be good if we got that. Vehicle bay. Hell, I think we should just start with the extra soldier because that fits my play style to a T. Go back to the arms dealer. I would like to get that sniper. Let's go and unlock him. And there's even better turrets than the ones that we were using before. Those small ones, not bad. Wow, look at all the stuff we've unlocked too. Just tons and tons of unlocks, man. Well, let's go to the uh, bigger... Let's see, 8 album which gives us 15. Both are 15. I think the rewards here are... Well, we should probably replace one of the oil derricks and, of course, more war pips. So that'd be a good area for us to continue, I think, sometime in the future. That's it for today's video on war pips. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Games available now on Steam. Version 1.0 coming with a lot of fixes and improvements. More urban combat. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Check out some of those trailer videos at the start of the video. And if you skip to here, make sure you watch the video in its entirety. To see more about this one, join the Discord down below in the description for giveaways and more. Click or tap join. Become a subscriber. Thanks again for all your support. And smash like for these awesome indie development teams that make some real big hits. More people need to know about these awesome spam, turret defense, base building games. I love it. Little, little sprinkle in the base building with the turret defense and such, but I want to see more. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one. Dino Man out.